Hi, this is Cheryl for Bayer's Pampered Stampers. I have quite a bit of new product to show you. As you know, there's three videos this time. This one, which will look at papers. The, there's an, one on embellishments and other sort of miscellaneous items. And then finally one on stamps, dies, and stencil. So um, lots of cool stuff coming in. And it's not the last of it. You'll be seeing more probably before the week's out. In any event, let's get started with the papers. This isn't really a paper. I don't know where to fit it. So I actually talk about it in the stamps, dies, and stencil category as well. This is from Stampendous. It's called Fran's Quick Card Panels. Each package, and it comes in like a little Ziploc bag, you get four panels with artwork, and it's all fully colored in. You don't have to worry about that. So you can cut these pieces apart and make cards. These little guys can embellish um, their sentiments if these are appropriate or use ones you have. Layer it up, you're good to go. So there's two different designs in each package and two sheets of each design. Here's the second design in that package. So very, very cool. This one's a little hard to separate, although you can. Most of the slimline panels, you could actually cut down and use on A2 cards too, if you're not a slimline fan. So don't let that freak you out. Very, very easy to edit these quickly and get what you need. Just cut them to the size that you want. So there's one package. Again, four full panels, two of each design. Um, let me show you the back. The back is just plain white, so you're not deciding from one side or the other. You're just using what you see. Sort of what you see is what you get with these. Sorry, they're not wanting to stay where I put them, so I'm going to need to move them. Here we go. Here's the second set of designs. Again, two A2 type panels, a slimline, easily trimmed if you want to do A2 the little embellishments, the sentiments, and there's the reverse side. So again, how easy it is it is to trim these down and make A2 cards. Very, very simple. Here's a third design. More florals. Very, very pretty. Again, super simple trim here to make it A2. There's the back side. Once again, very easy. You just got to do it. Got to decide what you want. Um, use these however you want. These can go with these cards. They can be used on something else. You decide. Same with the sentiments. You don't have to use those. And then our final set for our friends' quick cards are birds. And aren't they just cool? So some wonderful spring cards. Again, super easy to adjust if you just want A2. A very cool set. We have a lot of new paper in from a company called Paper House. We're going to start out with some florals here. They're a little bit larger on one side. And then when you flip to the other side, the pattern gets a little smaller and a little different. So very cool paper. This is the green version. Here's blue, and aren't those blue and white flowers gorgeous? And I love the back side of this one. All those little tiny blue flowers. Too cool. Here's red and the back side. Pink. And always our favorite purple like the green it just has a little bit smaller design on the back now the next design from paper house is um i don't know that these any of these have names but to me it's like a watercolor dots or a bokeh or something like that pattern um but it's this on one side and then the fine dots on the back you'll notice with the florals these go so well together so you can mix and match and use the colors as you will to create some stunning projects. So 
Keep in mind, those options are available to you. And Melissa's made it so, so easy for you by hanging, the, she's got them up on the wall side by side in the paper room. So easy for you to see. Here's the blue version. And a nice darker blue on the back. Here's red. Beautiful dark red here. Pink. And I love that she got this yellow. It's so sunny and fun. And look at those dots on the back. I can just see so many cards with this. It's a very cool paper. Similarly, we've got a few sets of hearts. We've got red hearts. Again, the colors match what you saw before. So you can mix and match these in as well. There's blue. And purple. Very cool. Next from Paper House, we've got some cut aparts. These are primarily birthday on this sheet. They're three by three, very easily used as cards, as journaling cards, as tags. There's a million things you could use it for. And look at this fun dot on the back. Notice how cool these cards would look on that background paper. Most of the rest of the sets are kind of general purpose or encouragement. Um, they're great sets to have. Where you see three by threes like this or like this one, you can use all of that together in the three by three or you can separate it apart. You can use stay positive separate from dream big. You can use brave, kind, amazing or just two. You have a choice. And the backs of the rest of these are kind of a watercolor or ombre look. Again, more encouragement or general purpose, which it's great to have. These are quick and easy cards. And we've got blue on the back. This one is a fun set. Lots of good little cards here. Again, they're perfect for layouts. They're perfect for tags. They're perfect. Layer them up and make a card out of them. And how fun is this paper? Oh, it's just so cool. Lots of things you could do with that. And then finally, there's a set that deals with love. So all those love cards you do, anniversary, a little something for that special someone. These are perfect little cards, journaling cards to make that happen. They're great in albums or mini albums. They're great tags. And here we have this really pretty light gray kind of watercolor background. So those papers were all from a company called Paper House. Very, very cool. Next, we're going to move on to some paper is from the Hello Valentine collection from Echo Park. I know, I hear you. Yeah, maybe it's a little late for Valentine, but I think you'll see that these are fun all occasion papers that happen to be pink and red and Valentine appropriate as well. So don't get too concerned about the collection name. Look at the papers. So this wonderful tiny flower on the front and the cute pink hearts on the back. We've got these great envelopes that are so trendy with the mailbox and hearts and flowers. How much more can you do there with a great pink check on the back? Here's some nice bouquets wrapped up and ready to go. And on the back, a tiny little pink heart pattern. Here's some fun little stamps. Again, they look very Valentine's and are very Valentine's, but they don't say Valentine anywhere. So there's not anything here that's not usable every day of the year. 
Um, they're not always appropriate in every situation, I'll give you that, but they're not just tag Valentine and have to be put away. And look at the great paper on the back of that. Very cool. I love the mason jars with the bouquets. Very, very sweet. And the red heart pattern on the back. So again, it's from that Hello Valentine collection, but it doesn't have to be Valentine paper. Now also from that collection, we have a six by six paper pad. Let's just flip through that quickly. There's 24 pages here, 12 um, different pages. They're all double-sided, as you can see. I like when they do the journaling cards in here. For the most part, they give you something that's usable. They don't shrink these down so much. A little bit, but enough. They're still usable for card fronts and all sorts of other things. So lots of cool papers in this. Again, some of them say Valentine's. So they're really only appropriate for Valentine's Day. Others can be used any time of the year. So there's that cute pink and red floral pattern that we saw that was so tiny in the 12 by 12 and it's even smaller here, which is perfect if you're card making. More journaling cards. Great, great designs. There's our mason jars. And we're back to the start again. So there's 12 more papers just like what we saw. Um, she has a six by six pad called Craft and Create. There, unfortunately, she wasn't able to get, I don't think, any 12 by 12 to go with this. So it's just the six by six in this collection. I'm going to flip through again quickly so that you can see it. It's fun colors. I love the little florals, the spools of thread with flowers in them. Great journaling cards, all very usable for cards. All these things are a perfect scale for our A2 cards. You can do more sizes than that. Again, the paper is six by six. And I think, yep, that's where we started. So again, 24 sheets, two of each kind. Also in that collection, we've got an ephemera pack. Now remember with the ephemera packs, if you look at the back, you can see what's inside. I'm gonna actually open them up so that we can look at them a little more closely because sometimes that's helpful, but you can always look at the back and remind yourself. So if you wanted to make some cards, here's some great pieces for card making or layouts. Do you want to um, do a scrapbook for the latest crop? This would just be fun. There's a craft banner that you can put together. This is my happy place, make life pretty. So what? Make life pretty. Lots of little things that you can put around. Cut it out, I love crafting. So lots of pieces in all sorts of sizes and shapes that help with journaling and with all sorts of other things. Sorry, I slid off camera a little bit. Like the So Lovely, the craft, the little ruler. Beautify it. There are some frames in here. If you pop out the center sentiment, you can put that frame around a picture and it'll look so fun. So that is our Craft and Create Ephemera Pack. It goes with a 6x6 paper pad, or it goes on its own. You can certainly use it without the other, and it will be just fine. Um, let's move on to some other collections, and I apologize. It's just there's so much here. It's hard to show everything without making a total mess of things. So here we go. First up from Echo Park, we have a, um, I don't want to show this yet, so let me set this aside and I'll be right back to this in a minute. Let's look at this birthday salutations paper pack. This is a 12 by 12 paper pack. It's got 12 sheets, 
all 12 by 12. They're double sided. Um, there's also a sticker sheet that comes with it. So you get a preview of the papers up here at the top. And by the way, I don't throw these things out. I cut these out and use them on my cards. Same things with the little elements down at the bottom. Get the most you can out of these kits, please. Um, lots of good cut aparts for birthdays. And in this kit, there's 12 sheets, but there's two of each sheet. So the back side is this polka dot. I've just taken the second sheet of everything and I flipped it over so you can see the back side without me flipping the papers. Another cut apart sheet. Lots of good birthday cards, birthday tags, journaling cards, you name it, in here. And again, a fun back paper that can be used for so many things. Here we have four by four journaling cards or cut aparts for cards. This one actually says happy birthday and I know it's really, really hard to read. So I probably wouldn't use that one even on a card or anything. And look at that back paper, it's so, so cool. I forget myself, I've already flipped it for you. More four by four cards. Some great candle paper on the back. These are four by six cards. Journaling cards, card fronts, you name it. And the back side of it is this navy with the stars. So, so very cool. These again are four by six, just oriented a different way. How cool are they? And we have that fun dot pattern on here as well. Here's our sticker sheet. Again, lots of great stickers and banners and you name it on this page. They always have a couple of 12 inch banners at borders, excuse me, at the bottom that you can use if you're scrapbooking or you can use pieces of for cards. So nothing goes to waste in these kits. So that was the birthday salutations kit from Echo Park. Next, I'm gonna show you some individual sheets of paper that are baby boy. Um, I've got a couple of kits here that I'll get to in just a minute, but I wanna show you the single sheets that Melissa is selling. So these are from a collection called Baby Boy by Echo Park. We have these cute little cards, one to 12 months to capture baby's milestones in that critical first year and a few other cards. Um, again, they can make cards, they can make journaling cards. You can do a million things with these things. And these cute little whales on the back, how sweet are those? Here we've got some more journaling cards or cut aparts that you could make greeting cards from. These just layer up so easily and they turn into such cute cards with a little ribbon or an embellishment here or there. They're perfect. And there's the back side of that one. So lots of great papers on the backs of these. Here's some fun animals also from this Baby Boy collection. These are, um, again, part of the Baby Boy collection. There's no reason why they can't be for little girls either because in case you haven't figured it out, little girls like animals too. And there's this great peach polka dot on the back. Uh, I've got a girl paper in the middle. Uh-oh, I've got a couple of girl papers in the middle. So I, I need to restack those. I'll show you, bring those back in just a moment. We've changed to a new collection, still from Echo Park. This is called It's a Boy. And here are some diaper pins in boy colors. On the back is this great navy. Um, I thought they were dots, but they're actually stars. How cool is that? Here's some onesies and overalls and diaper pins and pacifiers. How fun. And a great plaid on the back. 
We've got some trains here and the backside kind of stars and dots. And then last but by no means least, we've got the moon and the stars and the clouds with the stars and dots pattern on the back in just a little different colorway. Now also from It's a Boy, we have the six by six paper pack of the full collection. So there we go, there's some of those cut aparts. We haven't really seen these because she doesn't have the individual sheets on those, but we saw the animals pattern. Again, these are scaled down, perfect for A2 cards or smaller scrapbooks. We have the one through 12 cards, 12 month cards, so we can capture those milestones. These are the double-sided sheets. So you have all the patterns. Look at those duckies, they're too cute. Um, lots and lots of fun paper in this collection. 24 sheets, two of each style. There's our diaper pins and our plaid. And we're back to the same journaling cards we started with. Um, this collection, she's also got the ephemera pack. Let's take a quick look at that. Again, if you're in store and don't want to fuss with the little pieces, look at the back. The back is going to guide you to what's in there. So these are great for making cards, for doing scrapbooks. I'm going to try and roll through these a little quicker so we don't have an hour-long video. So many reasons why I love you. Very cute. Again, one of our little frames. Slow down the video or stop it if you want to see these in more detail. But again, I feel like we should be moving forward because otherwise this video is going to be incredibly long. There's still so much to show. Lots of little banner pieces that are perfect. I like it when they give me those and I don't have to make my own. Little circle and oval pieces that help. This says cute and cuddly. It's a little hard to see. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. And it's a boy. So a fun little ephemera pack that goes with the It's a Boy collection from Echo Park. Here's the 12 by 12 paper collection. Sorry, I'm trying to get this right so I don't mess up again. So here we've got our cover. It's a boy. This is going to show you all the papers included in there. Some ideas of the stickers at the bottom, although if you flip to the back of the pack, you always see the stickers. Um, here's some journaling cards to start us out with. They're cut aparts. They'll make great cards, um, great tags, great journaling cards, and a fun backer paper. More animals little different from the ones we saw before and this is kind of like an all-over pattern green these mobiles are fun and that gold star paper is just too cool here's some more journaling cards or cut aparts to make cards now, when you get a page like this, you just have to think a little bit about how to unlock it. First, we can see that there's a line that goes straight through the center. So I would cut along that line first. I'd cut this little banner edge off at the bottom and then just work through where you can to separate it. So I can take these off. I can take those off. And then here, I probably have to cut here to separate those two and those two. So it's not hard, you just have to work through it. On the back, they have the cutest little bow ties. Aren't those sweet? So fun paper there. Here's the boy version of the baby bottles. How darling. I love the little giraffes inside. Very, very cute. And a nice kind of hunter green plaid on the back. Or check, sorry. Here's kind of a leafy pattern. 
and a fun stripe on the back. Here's our paper with the moon and the stars and the clouds. Again, it had that um, star and dot pattern on the back. More cut aparts or journaling cards. Very fun. Look at those big stars on the back. Very cool. Here's our diaper pins. We saw there's individual sheets of this. And that pretty dark navy polka dot. Here's our onesies and overalls. Again with the plaid background. Four by six cut of hearts. So much usable stuff here. And a great nondescript pattern on the back. Here's some trains. These are cool. They're so a little different than what we saw before. That was a little bit different collection, I think. With the minty stars and dots on the back. And this is our sticker sheet. So lots of cool papers in here to go with that full collection. That's all that you saw there, the 12, 12 by 12 papers plus the sticker sheet are a part of this Echo Park collection. Now they also make, which I think makes it so much easier, these coordinating solids paper packs. So here you get six sheets the papers go with what's in the It's a Boy kit. So it's easy for you to figure that out and have solids that match. This might be a hard green to find, but you don't have to worry about it. So you have two sheets that are like this, the dark green on one side and the mint on the other. You have two sheets that are dark blue on one side with gold on the other. And you have two sheets that are kind of this gray or taupe on one side and another pretty um, green or light teal on the other. So very, very cool paper that's going to help you with whatever you're doing, whether it's cards or layouts or whatever. Now let's shift for a minute to Baby Girl. And give me just one second to grab the appropriate stuff here, I hope. I hope I get it right this time. So we're going to start out with some individual sheets first. This is actually from Cartabella, kind of a sister company to Echo Park. Um, a pretty floral on this side and the other side, some great newborn girl words that will be perfect for us a layout page or cards or something like that from the baby girl collection from echo park we have the one through 12 month little cards to catch those milestones and a few others to go with on the back these darling swans and the delicate flowers how cool is that Here's some journaling cards. These are from the It's a Girl collection. Um, very cool for little girls, for a baby album or what have you. Look at this paper. It is so delicate and gorgeous. I just love it. These baby bottles are so much fun. These are the girl colors. And look how pretty they are with the little flowers and whatnot inside. Again, it would make a fun, fun card. And we've got that gold star pattern on the back. Here we've got diaper pins on one side. And we've got that sort of minty green polka dot on the back. Very, very cool paper. And we've also got the... Um, six by six paper pad in the it's a girl collection again we're going to quickly flip through because you'll see these papers in more detail when we look at the 12 by 12 so you can see double-sided 12 different papers very usable cards inside and want to cooperate with me love the little crowns on this side of the paper too fun 
There's our baby bottles. So 24 sheets, 12 different papers. They repeat after you get through the first set. And we're there. So we're back to where we started. We have an ephemera pack for that too. And by the way, I'm not sure if I grabbed all of the six by six papers and ephemera packs. Melissa was in the process of redoing that room. And so I might've missed some if I did check them out when you go there. Again, the back of the ephemera pack is gonna show you exactly what's inside. But here we go. We're gonna take a quick look through. How fun are these? So you would have, if you got these, you would have way more than enough for a little album and some cards and lots of different things. There's just a ton of little usable items in these ephemera packs. And they're very affordable for what you get, I think. They're all cut and ready to go. You can layer them if you want. You can use them as they are. They coordinate with the papers. It's perfect. So that's that ephemera pack. Now here's the 12 by 12 papers for the It's a Girl collection by Echo Park. Again, you can see at the top of this cover sheet exactly what's in it. You can see a preview of some of the stickers at the bottom, and then they show you some of the journaling cards and the sticker sheet down here. So you can see a lot without having to open the pack, which I think is valuable. Again, I use all this stuff on my cards, so I don't let it go to waste. There's many ways you can use it in cards and journaling. First, we've got some cut-aparts that would make great cards, journaling cards, tags, you name it. Use it how you would use it. Layered up, lots of fun. Look at that delicate paper, just gorgeous. Love this floral. And the green check on the back. Here's our mobiles for the girls with a gold stripe on the back. Here's another cut apart page. Again, this one you're going to have to just think a little bit about how to unlock it, but it's not too terribly hard. Just follow the straight lines wherever possible. You will be fine. And look at the crowns on back. This is just the most fun paper. Here's our baby bottles. We saw this in the individual sheets with the gold star on back. Another great floral with hearts on the back, kind of a peachy pink there. Here's the animals they made for the girls. Girls like all kinds of animals, even the crocodiles, so don't let that fool you. Um, these might be a little feminine to also use for boys, but hey, you do you. We've got the hedgehogs and bunnies and elephants and deer, owls, lots of fun animals here too. And a great star pattern on the back. More cut aparts. Got lots of choices in how to use these. And look at the delicate floral on the back of that. Very cool. Here's our diaper pins. With the kind of mint green polka dot on the back. We saw that before in the individual sheets. Here's little dresses and onesies and diaper pins and pacifiers. How fun. Again, with this background paper, it's just such a nondescript pattern. It ha adds variety and texture to the project you're doing, but it's not going to interfere with whatever you put on top. Let me just show you this, for example. This is one of our ephemera pieces that sits very nicely on there, and it's not fighting with the backgrounds. Here's some 4 by 6 journaling cards. 
or card fronts, you decide. Look at the cute rainbows on the back. I love this paper. I just always like these little rolled roses wherever I see them. Very fun, very delicate for baby girl. And again, the minty green with the stars and dots. Very cool. And here are our stickers for that collection. Now, similar to what we saw with It's a Boy, It's a Girl has the coordinating solids pack as well. So I've got two sheets that are this color on one side and the light aqua on back or light blue, I believe is what they're calling it. It just looks kind of aqua used to me. Here's a lighter pink with kind of a taupe on the back. Come on. The paper doesn't want to separate out anymore for me. So two sheets like that. And finally, two sheets of the gold with a mint green on the back. And I think they do call this green, so I got that right, believe it or not. Now we're going to grow up a little bit and go into some birthday papers. So we'll start with Birthday Boy. And if you'll give me a second while I pull these out. Oops, I missed one. So. Okay, so we'll start with some single sheets from the collection. I'm trying to straighten this out underneath. This is the Birthday Boy collection from Echo Park. Lots of Echo Park paper in the store right now. Look at that great red stripe on the back. We've got candles on the front of this one with a great terrazzo pattern on the back. Here are some fun cut-aparts, and I just used these last week to make some really cute kids' cards. Um, they're all birthday, all boy, although, you know, like Make-A-Wish, Let's Party. They're boy colors, according to the collection, but they don't have to be boy cards, and I like that. And look at the party animals on the back. Aren't they so fun? And then we've got balloons in similar colors. Perfect with the collection. With an orange, um, there's an all-over pattern here. I know it's kind of hard to see. I don't want to bring it too close because I think I'll blind you with the brightness. Um, but trust me, it's there. When we get to girl, I'll show you what the pattern is. There's a 6 by 6 paper pad for birthday boy. So again, we'll flip through that quickly. We start with some journaling cards and borders. Double-sided paper, 24 sheets, 12 different designs. Perfect for card making or for smaller scrapbooking or mini albums. How fun. And we'll see these more when we go through the 12 by 12s. And I think that is the end of our 12 sheets. So there's our six by six paper pad. Here's the 12 by 12 collection. Again, birthday boy. You can kind of see the papers across the top and how well they coordinate. Here's a preview of some of the stickers. Picture of the sticker sheet and the cut parts that are with it. So we're starting with three by four cut parts again. It's a boy collection, but these don't have to be boy cards. There's the back sheet. We've got cake and a fun plaid. Here's our birthday animals we saw in the single sheets and the red stripe. These are four by four cut aparts that we saw before. She has the single sheets of this. This one's just an all over wordy one with a few presents and some cake. Stars on the back. Balloons, we saw that in the single sheets with that funny background that I'll show you in girl because it shows up better. Here's some banners and blue dots on the back. 
more cut aparts in various sizes. So again, you just figure out how to release them. This goes the entire length. So you're gonna cut this piece off first, cut these, cut this off, cut this, you're good to go. You can figure it out from there. So it's all good. And we got sprinkles on the back. What fun for a birthday. I love the sprinkles. Here's some smaller balloons and a blue star pattern. We've got candles with the terrazzo pattern. More four by six cut aparts. 